Let me now come to the issue of um, Emmanuel J. Banda, MP for Petauke. As the nation knows, uh, Emmanuel Banda, MP, who was receiving treatment uh, in hospital in Chipata, escaped from lawful custody some three days ago. And his whereabouts remain unknown to date. I would like the nation to know that the security agencies are making headway in the manhunt and pursuit for Emmanuel Banda to bring him back to lawful custody. This matter will be followed to the latter and the government is deploying all available means and resources to ensure that he comes back. This is because he is a citizen of this country and as a person who is under lawful custody of the state, the state will have to work to ensure that his presence is secured in this country. And I also like to demystify a notion that Emmanuel Ban MP is being treated differently or that his search will be different from any other fugitive. No. He will be looked for just like any other prison escapee. And the government is determined to bring him back. Government also expresses its deepest concern that a lawmaker who should lead by example in the observance of the law, the rule of law, should take front seats in breaking the law by escaping <coughs> from lawful custody. Now, questions are, being, are beginning to emanate as to how he would escape from law custody when he has been given all the relevant humane treatment that is supposed to be accorded to him like any other citizen. Is it because he is running away and trying to evade the course of justice on the matters that the investigative agencies have preferred to him as charges that he stands alleged with. Those are questions that we cannot answer for now, but those are the permutations that his escape has now opened a window of for people to begin to question. I would like to indicate that uh, so far, the investigations have progressed well and revealed that this was a well orchestrated you know, escape and that in its execution, a number of people were involved. He was aided to escape. The Zambia police and other agencies of the security of the state are closing down on all those who are complicit to this escape and their sponsors. Currently, Emmanuel J. Banner is believed to be hiding within traceable vicinity, or in other words, within neighborhoods where he may easily be brought back into law custody of the state so that the wheels of justice can continue in motion to their terminal conclusion. I also like to indicate that uh, one of 
Emmanuel Banda's wife is presently undergoing interrogations by the police relating to the aiding of the flight of Emmanuel Banda. So, the nation should know that that particular wife is the one who was in his presence at the time of securing his privacy so that the security guards or police or wardens who were in charge to secure his presence could give that opportunity for his flight. The nation therefore should know that uh, social media statements that uh, his wife has been arrested are not correct. Let me also add and urge citizens not to rush into unsubstantiatable conclusions. <coughs> This matter, we reiterate, is not a political matter, the matter of Emmanuel Banda, is a criminal matter being treated just like any other criminal matter in the nation. And therefore, those colleagues with a habit of preemptive assertions about the state of affairs relating to this matter, we ask them to refrain at all times. There seems to be a pattern from certain colleagues who, when the <coughs> Bani of Banda was said to have been abducted, even before many people could comment about him having been found, they were quick to say he has been found in Kafue. They were also quick to begin to question his whereabouts just upon his disappearance. The government is looking upon such kind of conduct with utmost disdain. And we want to urge all citizens, particularly those who hold themselves to be leaders, such as members of parliament, to exercise some level of responsibility and not be the ones at the forefront of disinformation and misinformation. Because when they are the ones who speak, unsuspecting ordinary citizens take their statements to be gospel truth. We will be keeping the nation updated as events unfold on this particular matter, not because it is a special matter, but of course because we know that this is an important and uh, a matter which is distinguishable to other matters because it is a member of parliament involved who was elected to represent people and whose disappearance attracts not just his constituents or constituency or national attention, but the international community as well gets concerned about such kind of occurrences in the nation. And therefore, we will, like I've said, do everything possible that as and when is reasonably necessary, we do update the nation on what uh, we will have uh, been able to encounter or the developments thereof. For now, we ask for calm amongst his electorates and amongst citizens. And just like the alleged abduction, we are hopeful that he will be brought back in good health so that he can continue uh, where he left. Let me also be able to give context 
to the statement that was made by the Minister of Home Affairs that it was a mistake, as it has been reported in uh, some quarters of our media, that it was a mistake for the state or the police or indeed the correctional services to treat Emmanuel J. Banda MP uh, with a humane kind of attitude. And that has attracted some reactions to indicate that um, every citizen is entitled to be treated humanely. I want to place on record that Honorable Mwimbu did not indicate and did not mean to say that the state was at fault to accord him that treatment. Rather, he was emphasizing the point that ordinarily any prisoner would not be allowed to ask for privacy and be able to be given room where him will be alone with his attendees or visitors away from the attendant presence of the security personnel who were guarding and securing his presence. But that in this particular case, because the officers on duty were cognizant of the fact that they were dealing with a supposedly honorable member of parliament. And I'm saying supposedly because a member of parliament is expected to exhibit a certain etiquette of conduct, particularly not to breach the law, because they are the lawmakers. He was given that latitude which ordinarily is not supposed to be given uh, to a prisoner. That is what Honorable Mwimbo was talking about, and not to say, Honorable, uh, I mean, Emmanuel J. Ban was given uh, preferential treatment in terms of human rights, which ordinarily he shouldn't have been given. The question was not on human rights treatment, Hari Karaba, don't be in a hurry to go to the media. The question was about him being given preferential treatment as an MP that when he asked to say kindly give us some privacy, we want to attend to ourselves, we shall call you when we are done. He was granted that unusual opportunity because he was treated as a member of parliament. That is the context, that is the issue. It has nothing to do with uh, selective application uh, of the law in terms of the respect for, recognition for, protection, and upholding and defending of human rights by the state. It was not a human rights issue. It was a, an interpersonal treatment of a person who is held in esteem that certain things, it is so remote that you can conjure an idea that they will do something unthinkable. That is what Honorable Mwimbo was talking about. So, that I hope clarifies to my friend, Honorable Hari Karama, and that in future he should not hurry to go to the media to go and issue statements when he has not understood what was being spoken about.